Hello, this is Tuesday morning, June 29th, day 58 at 6.50 a.m. I just left my camp at Kid Gore Shelter, mile 1628. Um, hit my 600 mile mark yesterday. And then today, I'm going downhill first and then going to climb uh, Mount Stratton. Thunderstorm last night, so everything is wet and slippery. So I have to be really careful. Uh, yeah, um, wish me luck. <laughs> Day three in Vermont. <laughs> Day one was bad. Day two was better. I did a good mileage yesterday, 18.7 in on day two. Now it's day three. I don't know what's gonna happen. Right now, so far, so good. But it's still early. My my legs are not sore at all. <laughs> Yay! I used to deal with Achilles tightness and calf soreness and just pains and aches everywhere on my legs. Uh, legs achy at night, but not anymore. Even after a high mileage hike. <laughs> oh, the breeze feels good today. <sighs> also, um, I am able to hike faster now. Uh, with my ankle completely healed, I can run, jump, land hard on it. I can push off. Uh, confidently, it's very strong. Uh, like it was never broken before. It feels like that. Um, I find that I've been passing people uh, the first two weeks. I was so slow that everyone's passing me, even the slowest person passed me. And I had no endurance because everything hurt. But now nothing hurt and my ankle is 100%. I can become more agile and uh, in the terrain. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Yay! Who wants to see another beaver bog? Yay! Ugh. Nasty. I wish I would see some beavers, but oh. <sighs> okay, I'm uh, 0.3 miles away from Story, I think Story Spring Shelter. I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes there, get some water to bring. Yep, that's the trail. The stream is so beautiful, nice water. I'm gonna collect water from here. Yes, this is the trail, Judy. <laughs> Go, I don't know where to go. <sighs> this way? Yeah. <sighs> oh. Okay, that's the trail, Judy. <laughs> Easy trail, Bobo. Here comes mud again. So many of them. So I gotta go here to minimize the dirt. Here. Mm. Uh, okay, not too bad. I'm sleepy today. 
stayed up till like 1 a.m. or 12.30 last night because of the thunderstorm and I wasn't tired. It's so weird. After walking almost 19 miles and I wasn't tired. So I was up reading on the internet, Facebook, editing my video. But I can't upload because there's no signal. Not much signal, very weak. <sighs> Hopefully I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Swampy again. <laughs> What is that? A bridge. Something different. How cool. <laughs> I haven't looked at gut hook. I don't know what mileage. I'll look it up after. Very cool. Wow. And there's a tent site over there. Oh. Oh, this is an incredible tent site near water. Here's the tent site. Oh, it's flat near water. How come I never get lucky? Hopefully sometime. That bridge was uh, called a Black Brook, uh, mile 1635.5. Uh, now I have some somewhat flattish terrain before I start uh, to climb Mount Stratton. So, yay. Misery will begin in a few miles. <laughs> I am on Kelly Strand Road. I'm going on the road and I see a lot of some people gathering there. What is it? Oh, please let it be trail magic. I'm so thirsty and I'm hungry. I think so. Oh my God. Thank you, God. Let me know how that is. I'll be there. How about you guys? I'm staying at the, uh, the hostel. Oh yeah, they're full. Trail provides again. When I'm running out of food and I was hungry and thirsty, there's trail magic. <laughs> it was Mike R. Uh, his trail name is Mike Miker instead of hiker. It's Miker because his name is Mike R. <laughs> He's a retired postmaster. Okay, I am now climbing Mount Stratton. The summit is not too bad actually. It's only 3.3 .3 miles, and I heard it's gradual. It's not bad at all. So. But since I ate some apples and some popsicles and drink some soda, I have energy now. Thank you, God. <laughs> Daddy goes, no, 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 they'll be fine. I think it's really hot out there, you know? Yeah. Let me get some water. She said, no, no, no. Oh, it's been uphill climb like this. The past one and a half miles or two miles, I'm dying. But I still have 0.5 miles to the top. Oh my god. After that, downhill. My favorite. This is Vermont hiking. I am so close to the top of Mount Stratton. It should be coming up soon, but I don't see the end of it. Where is it? It's flattened out. I started climbing at like 12.18 p.m. Right now it's about 1.30, 1 1.35. This is it. There's nothing. Hi. 
Oh my god, that was so tiring. Did you go up there? Did you go up? I wanted to stay longer up there. Uh, maybe climb the tower, but the flies are just so bad. That's what you don't see. You see Vermont. Scenery is beautiful and everything, but you don't know there's a lot of flies biting your face. <laughs> uh, I get out of there. Okay. We're starting to decline. Yay! It's 3.2 miles to Stratton Pond Shelter, but my goal is to hit William Douglas Shelter, which is 7.9 miles, if I can make it. Oh, okay, I, I got to focus. Bye-bye. It is 3.18 p.m. It just rained for a little bit. Um, I'm still five miles away from the shelter that I wanted to go to, William Douglas Shelter. There's this uh, Stratton Pond, uh, huge lake, and there's tenting around, but um, I want to go further. I can't make it to my to the next um, William Douglas shelter. But I read there's a great stealth camping site here after the bridge. This is called Windhall River and I'll be near water. Hopefully I can find something good. Let's see. Wow. That's where I came from. They said there's a campsite here. There's a site here. Flat spot there. There, that's great. Okay, let me look here. That's nice. Let me check the one by the water. This is the spot. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna camp here. Look at that. Okay, this is my spot. Okay, I'll get better again. Um, set it up before it rains. 